Hi, Jamie J here. I am coming to you from Chesterfield County, Virginia to share some information. Um, I'd like to first thank you for tuning in today and I hope that you are having a fabulous day and um, hope to meet you know my viewers or my friends soon. I hope to meet you one day. Um, well, the purpose of me, like I said, is to share some information and the information that I wish to share today is from a book that I stumbled across and the book is called Oneness and Oneness is written by Jeffrey Moses and it shares principles shared by all religions um, and it has inserts. It doesn't go over every single religion, but it does go over basic principles and it do, and it do show the connection between other religions and how those principles stay and hold true through um, consistently how it's connected so the principle that I will be sharing today is be wholehearted all success in life is a result of putting our attention in the proper channels and allowing a natural growth to occur it is far too easy to let the mind remain divided think about one thing or another while trying to accomplish something important Working with a divided mind almost always gives results that are less than hoped for. But when a direct course is taken and the task is undertaken with dynamic one point perseverance, we can overcome even the most difficult obstacles. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to share um, how being wholehearted is a principle that is shared in other religions such as Confucianism, wherever, wheresoever you go, employ all your heart. And in Christianity, he who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. And Judaism, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. And in Shintoism, Free yourself from doubt and you will find your life quicken in the goodness of God. And in Buddhism, either eating, <laughs> no, that's not it, <laughs> neither eating nor fasting nor penitence nor sacrifice nor observance of the seasons purify a mortal who has not conquered his doubt mm. true story so I hope you find that content to be useful um, my reflections on being wholehearted is that if you are being wholehearted that means you are walking authentically in your purpose and that you are not impeding upon others and you realize it is not a competition because your gifts are different from my gifts and that does not make my gifts even more grander than yours um, but it means that my gifts are for me and your gifts are for you and if you are not properly utilizing those gifts or honing those gifts to serve humanity because all gifts are meant to be given if you have a gift and you're not giving them, then you're not walking in your purpose. If you don't understand what your gifts are and you haven't taken the time to explore or understand that, then you're not walking in purpose, which means you're simply floating in this imperfect world for not. Like, why would you do that to yourself? Like, even if you, you may fail, which, you know, can happen. <laughs> you know, it can happen. What's the point if you're not... If you're not striving towards something that's greater than thyself, greater than your being right now and in the space. So be wholehearted means to not deny who you are, um, to embrace your imperfections and to, you know, to live that truth and to do it in a way where you're looking to uplift others wholeheartedly. Okay, so hope that content helps you in some way. And if you, you know, need more information or I encourage you to research. 
you always have you don't have to rely on other people the internet is is deal with with both truth and lies and it's sometimes hard to decipher with which is which but your heart you normally tells you which is which and if that fails or if you really can't tell within that because you know more trust in the own heart is a fool <laughs> if, if that fails you in some aspect one thing that I found that has always been a safe haven for me is the consistency of the text the consistency of if these people are experiencing the same thing and these people are most like me as far as you know same likes taste and overall which we're all connected but some people have more similarities than you to you or likes and interests than others do then this could be safe to say that this is the experience that I would most likely receive now you may receive a different experience but the reality is if something is a certain way then it's it's usually pretty consistent the patterns are usually the same so you usually don't patterns usually don't change overnight it has to be something dramatic that if, that makes a pattern change but it wouldn't change overnight it would be a, a gradual change and that's with anything in life so if you would like to follow me you can follow me on instagram i'm only on instagram i'm not on linkedin or facebook or any of those other platforms i'm only on instagram and my instagram handle is penupish and that's p-i-n-u-p-i-s-h or if you would like to book me if you would like to hire me you can go on at home is jones and that is h-o-m-e-i-s-j-o-n-e-s and there is a link in the bio and you can click on the link and the link will take you to a website and the website will take you to a contact us page and that's where you can contact us to possibly book me if i'm available uh and i think that's it so thank you so much for your time um and remember god is love au revoir